I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this is the Kobo Vox, the new 7 inch tablet from Kobo, the Canadian e reading company, that is set to go head to head with the Amazon Kindle Fire and the Barnes and Noble Nook tablet. But there's really not a lot to like here. Let's start out with the hardware. We, of course, have a 7 inch screen with a 1024 by 600 resolution. It comes in at just about 0.53 of an inch thick and it weighs just under a pound, actually 0.88 of a pound. We have a 800 megahertz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, not too bad on the specs, of course not the fastest device, but once you actually start using it, that's where you notice that it is quite slow. A lot of times it will take me a couple tries to get the screen to react the way that I'd like. And you know what, that's not even close to the responsiveness that the Kindle Fire has or even the increased responsiveness of the Nook tablet. And it's really buggy. Before we filmed this review, it, it had 80% battery life and it actually died on me and we had to charge it for about 20 minutes before we could even get back into action. There are a couple other things that I do like. I like that the Vox here takes a risk with some colors. This is ice blue, they also have it available in a kind of pink color, a black color, and a strange lime green. That's different. That's not something that you're gonna see and your device won't look like a boring black box like the Kindle Fire. You do have this nice quilted back here which you do see on Kobo's e-readers and that's comfortable. It feels good in the hand and it's nice to hold for a long period of time. As far as storage goes, we have eight gigabytes built in and we have a micro SD card slot here that, that can give you an extra 32 gigabytes if you're willing to go out and buy the card. Now the Kobo Vox actually runs a almost pure version of Android. There's not a lot changed here. You do have your Read Now, your library, your Shop Kobo, which allows you to buy books, and the fantastic Reading Life app, which is an app that I really do enjoy. It's good for reading. It gives you badges to tell you how many books you've read. It integrates really well with Facebook. You can find out what other people are reading. That's really cool. But again, because the hardware limitations here, the experience is slowed, and it never feels as smooth or as fast as I'd like. Now there are a few apps that are built in, those apps being RDO, Zinio, and a really nice Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. But when you take a look at apps like Twitter or Facebook on the device, which do have app icons, they're actually mobile web apps because they don't actually have an app store. What they're doing is they're teaming up with Getjar, an independent company that has an app store of its own. And well, the selection just isn't on par with what you're gonna get from Barnes & Noble or Amazon. Now I really wanted to like the Kobo Vox. Kobo, of course, is an underdog company. And Barnes & Noble, Amazon, they're heavyweights. And especially given how nice Kobo's e-ink e-readers are, well, you know what? With the Vox, I'm just quite frankly disappointed. 